Hi, my name is Kristen Staggs. I am the President and the Board of Directors for Butte Humane Society. And today I just wanted to talk to you briefly about some of the changes that will be happening in February of 2012 with the current city contract that Butte Humane Society holds. Currently, we perform a contract for the City of Chico to care for animals who are stray, surrender, or quarantine for the first five days. We've been performing these services for a little over 20 years. Recently, both the City of Chico and Butte Humane Society have come to a mutual agreement to change our relationship to better serve the animals in our community. Butte Humane Society will continue to perform adoption and education services and increase our spay and neuter efforts. The services we provide for the City of Chico are approximately one-third of the services we provide for animals in our community and is one-third of the Butte Humane Society's budget. What will happen in February is the city will take the money they have been giving us and use that money to perform those services. Two-thirds of the services we've been providing to the community are adoption and education services. These services are two-thirds of our budget and the money to perform these services comes solely from our donors. So it's very important that people understand that when you're making a donation to the Beauty Humane Society, you're actually not making that donation to the City of Chico. You're making it to the Beauty Humane Society so that we can perform the adoption and education services that we provide. I think for the past 20 plus years we've had some challenges performing the variety of services we provide for the city. Simply because animal welfaring is a very difficult type of business to be in. It's ever changing. Laws change, the quality of care needs to change, medical costs have increased, staff requirements increase. It's been a challenging 20 plus years to be able to not only manage and grow our adoption and education services, but to also manage that contract. The Butte Humane Society and the City of Chico feel this new collaboration between the two parties is going to truly help play to the strengths of both organizations. When we began to talk to the city about how we could amicably separate those two things and continue to work on the same land over on Fair Street, um, we discovered that there were a lot of shelters across the country that were actually doing it that way, where animal control managed intakes, surrenders, strays, and quarantine, and then an adoption agency managed the adoptions and education portion. This change will happen in February. Both parties will actually still function out of the Fair Street location. What is most important is that the City of Chico and Butte Humane Society are working together collaboratively to help make future plans for the animals in our community. The goal is to live together, to work together, and to begin to write the plans for what the future of animal welfare and animal care looks like in the City of Chico.